Hello and welcome back to our program. Today's discussion is the claims of Joseph Smith concerning the Book of Mormon and the American Indians' principal ancestors being from Jews who migrated to the American continents prior to the Babylonian exile in 640 BC. Does the DNA evidence support Smith's claims? Or does DNA disprove the Book of Mormon? John, can you set up the background for us by reviewing Smith's claims about the people of the Book of Mormon and their relationship to the American Indians? I'd be happy to marry. Joseph Smith claimed that an angel by the name of Moroni supposedly appeared to him to reveal a historical record of an ancient people who lived on the American continents. The record was supposedly written in an unknown language which Smith called Reformed Egyptian. It was supposedly written on golden plates bound together in a book which Smith was supposed to translate into English by the power of God using two stones which came with the gold plates. According to Smith's statement the Lamanites mentioned in the Book of Mormon are the principal ancestors of the American Indians and a remnant of the House of Israel. In later prophecies Smith pointed to the Indians living west of Missouri and declared that they were Lamanites. The Lamanites according to the Book of Mormon are the only surviving nation of two that descended from a man named Lehi, a Jew, who supposedly left Jerusalem with his family just prior to the Babylonian exile and migrated to the American continents. So according to the Book of Mormon account and Smith's claims, the American Indians are descended from the Lamanites, who are really Jewish. If Smith's claim is true then it is reasonable to expect that Jewish DNA would be found in the Native American Indians DNA, but that isn't the case. All the genetic sampling and studies on the origins of the American Indians shows that their DNA contains no Jewish markers. Scientists place the origins of the American Indians in Asia based on their DNA. They are not Jewish, or from Israel, but rather Asian and from Mongolia. How does the Mormon Church respond to this information? An interesting fact is that Mormons use DNA to confirm their ancestry as part of their genealogical research when performing baptisms for the dead. The same technology that they accept for this research is the same technology used to establish the ancestry of the American Indians. But when this technology is applied to the Book of Mormon and it does not support it, or fit their purposes they try to refute it, the LDS Church seems to want to have it both ways. But if genes from the father and mother are mixed together over many generations those DNA markers would be diluted, which would make tracing those markers impossible. You might be able to establish paternity for a few generations, but not able to establish ancestry going back several generations. This is a common misconception about the specific type of DNA used when researching ancestry and an argument often put forward by Mormons to downplay the impact the DNA data has on the Book of Mormon. The DNA markers scientists use to trace ancestry are found in the mitochondria of a cell. This type of DNA is called mitochondria. DNA, the genes from your father and mother that are combined to give you a blend of the physical characteristics of both your parents is found in the nucleus of the cell. Mitochondria, DNA, is produced with the X and Y chromosomes from each parent remaining intact. The genes are not combined until they are outside of the mitochondria. By looking at the DNA, Still inside the mitochondria of a cell we can trace your ancestry on both your father's and mother's sides of the family going back hundreds of generations. This is because the X and Y chromosomes remain unchanged going back infinite generations, unless, of course, there was an abnormal mutation that took place. The X and Y chromosomes of the mitochondria, DNA, is not diluted, but remains intact. This is how scientists know that the ancestral origins of the American Indians is from Asia, not the Middle East. Isn't there any DNA other than those from Asia in the DNA of the Native American Indians? Yes there is. Unfortunately for Smith and the Book of Mormon these traces of other DNA markers consists of only 0.6% of the population. The DNA of the Native American Indians population is 99.4% Asian. The 0.6% that is present in the population is attributed to post-Columbus migration to the New World. It is either European or African. 
In order for these small amounts to be at all linked to the Book of Mormon account, it would first of all have to be Jewish DNA, and it would have to have existed in the Native American Indian population prior to Columbus's discovery of the New World. But there are no traces of DNA with Jewish markers found that can be established as existing prior to Columbus's discovery. Smith claimed that the Lamanites are the principal ancestors of the American Indians. In order for the Lamanites to be the principal ancestors of the American Indians, we would have seen that their DNA was mostly Jewish, not mostly 99.4% Asian with the 0.6% minority being from Europe or African, and attributed to post-Columbus migration. Is it possible that there is a small area or region of the Americas that the Lamanites and Nephites existed in that hasn't been discovered yet? Well Mary that is an argument that falls outside of the claims that the Book of Mormon and Smith make about it. First of all you have Smith's own prophecies naming the Indians living on the western border of Missouri as Lamanites. Their DNA is Asian, not Jewish. Then you have the claims made in the Book of Mormon as well. Here is claim number one from the Book of Mormon. It tells us just how isolated the Americas were from the rest of the world. In 2 Nephi, chapter 1, verses 6 through 9, There shall none come into this land save they shall be brought by the hand of the Lord. And behold, it is wisdom that this land should be kept as yet from the knowledge of other nations, for behold, many nations would overrun the land, that there would be no place for an inheritance. Wherefore, I, Lehi, have obtained a promise, that inasmuch as those whom the Lord God shall bring out of the land of Jerusalem shall keep his commandments, they shall prosper upon the face of this land, and they shall be kept from all other nations, that they may possess this land unto themselves. The Book of Mormon clearly states that God supposedly hid the knowledge of the Americas from all the nations and preserved it for this people group, that none would come into this land except by the hand of God. This isolates the Americas from all other peoples. The second claim made by the Book of Mormon is that after 550 years the people multiplied and filled the whole land. Helaman 3 verse 8 says, And it came to pass that they did multiply and spread, and did go forth from the land southward to the land northward, and did spread in so much that they began to cover the face of the whole earth, from the sea south to the sea north, from the sea west to the sea east. This second claim from the Book of Mormon rules out the possibility that there was a small pocket of people yet undiscovered because the Book of Mormon claims that they filled the whole earth. Emphasis on the word whole. They filled the whole earth, and Helaman gives the dimensions for what he meant by that phrase which encompasses both the North and South American continents. John, it seems that the DNA data is conclusive, but does it stand up to other evidences? Well the search for other evidence to refute the DNA data only complicates matters for Smith and the Book of Mormon claims. Every known science that can be brought to bear on the subject confirms the DNA data's conclusions that the Native American Indian originated in Asia, not Israel. Archaeology, linguistics, their art all point towards Asia, and anthropology does not support the existence of animals mentioned in the Book of Mormon. There is not a single archaeologist, linguist, or anthropologist outside of Mormonism who believes the Native American Indian originated in Israel. They all confirm the origin of the Native American to be from Asia. Well John, if I were a Mormon I would find this information devastating to my faith. What should I do as a Mormon? Mary, the primary claims of the Mormon faith rest on the claims of Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon. If I were a Mormon I would begin weighing these facts objectively and begin researching more information from critics of the Mormon faith to see what else there is that I don't know. There is a wealth of information out there on the web. I would start with the Utah Lighthouse Ministry, the Christian Apologetics Research Ministry, the Mormon Research Ministry, or Courageous Christians. You might also want to visit Good News for LDS.com and watch the documentary film they have there. Thanks, John. In our next program we will examine the Book of Abraham. Is it really a record recorded by Father Abraham himself? Thanks for joining us. Good night.